Alright, well, I hit the jackpot yesterday. Um, the computer shop next to where I work donated um, 25 computers to me. Um, they've been pretty much gutted and that sort of thing, but there's a lot of spare parts and everything. And as you can see here, I have got a ton of these. Look at all those computers. Uh, definitely... Uh, something uh, that uh, that uh, will keep me busy for a while and hopefully I'll be able to uh, scavenge together enough spare parts to um, build another uh, nice computer that I can use as a render farm maybe a server and a few other purposes and um, that brings me to today's episode um, I am reviewing elementary Linux. Uh, this was uh, something that my friend Nick suggested and I'm going to actually use this operating system that I'm about to review right now on that new computer. Uh, I'd like to thank all the guys at computersites.com for the, uh, for the, uh, for the uh, computers and that sort of thing and uh, if, if you're in South Florida and you need to have your computer repaired definitely check out computersites.com and we're going to be looking at elementary Linux right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, we are looking at Elementary OS. This came out earlier this year, and I know there's another one coming out in the spring. Uh, the reason I decided to look at this, I've looked at this before. This is Jupyter, and um, because this is something I think I'm going to want to run on the new headless computer that I'm going to be building in the near future. Um, it's my hope that I'll be able to take all of these uh, wonderful spare parts that uh, I just received for uh, building a uh, a nice computer that I can uh, send my uh, video jobs to and have it doing the rendering so that um, so that you know I can do other things with my computer because it does use up a lot of CPU and that sort of thing so uh, it'll be nice to you know with all these extra spare parts lying around so um, definitely check out computersites.com if you're a Florida resident I don't know if they have any other locations across the state we'll find out in a moment when we're checking our uh, we're checking out this operating system. Okay, now this uses GNOME 2, which I really like. And if you're running PinGuy OS like I am, you actually have some parts of this installed in your operating system. This has a patched version of Nautilus, which gives you additional features such as cutter flow. And you can also embed a terminal into. Uh, into uh, an active window that you have opened. Now, I don't have Compiz effects or any um, or any uh, of the uh, special effects enabled. I'm just viewing this as a live CD, so you are not going to see that. But I can give you a demonstration of that using my operating system now, because I have uh, Nautilus here already patched for that. And you can see with this, using the GNOME color chooser, I can even have transparency in my windows and that sort of thing, which is really nice. I can embed a terminal. Or I can also have a cutter flow effect. Why don't I just go into pictures here and then view the cutter flow. Hmm, for some reason it's misbehaving today. <laughs> oh well. Just one of those things. Sometimes it works, sometimes uh, it doesn't behave correctly. I could have messed up something though in the system, so I'll have to check that out later. But the cutter flow basically allows you to flip through and look at all the images and that sort of thing in a folder. All right, let me close this now. Uh, it comes with Docky down here on the bottom. I think the graphics are a little bit large, so why don't I go ahead and reconfigure this to make it a little bit smaller for my liking. I'm going to settings here, 
and then we can make the icon sizes a little bit smaller. Okay, that works for me right there. And I can even go into paddle mode or a 3D background like this. Gives a kind of like a, a Mac appearance. I think that looks kind of nice. Okay, you get the Ubuntu Software Center with this. You get the Gnumeric Spreadsheet. You get Abbey Word, Shotwell Photo Manager, Lingo, Empathy Internet Messaging, Dexter, a Postler for email, Midori Web Browser, and you can install Elementary. Let's have a look at Midori here. And it's going to default to the Midori homepage. And of course, since computersites.com awarded me all these old computers, why not pull up their, their page? And here it is. Okay, and um, very friendly staff they have over there. They're competitive price. They'll give you a free diagnostics and all of that stuff. So uh, if you're in the South Florida area, definitely check them out. Um, yep, it's so it's the 954. So that's my uh, that's my area code here. So if you're in uh, Fort Lauderdale, definitely pop in and uh, see them. They've got some really good stuff that they do there. All right, let's see what else you get with this. I'll close this window real quick. In accessories, you get calculator, character map, manage print jobs, take screenshot, terminal, and text editor. In graphics, you get the Shotwell Photo Manager and Simple Scan. In internet, you get Empathy, Midori, a Puzzler, and Transmission BitTorrent Client. You get Abbey Word, Dexter, Gnumeric, <laughs> Gnumeric Spreadsheet, and Lingo, and Sound and Video. You get Brazero Disc Burner, Movie Player, Sound Recorder. Now, something I need to make you aware of, there isn't a whole lot of software that comes installed on this, but the download is relatively small. It was only 600, just a little bit over 600 megs, so it'll definitely fit on a CD. And, of course, if there's any applications that you really need for this, you can get them through the Ubuntu Software Center or the Synaptic Package Manager. So, that's really nice. Uh, I like it because it does have the GNOME 2, so if you want to use Compiz effects and that sort of thing, it's really great. Also, all of my tutorials that I have shown on the Pin Guy OS 1104 series would work on this. So you could definitely uh, benefit from all of those uh, tutorials that I have there. You can get the eye candy, all the special effects and everything. All of your preferences, of course, are located here under System. Under Administration, you can uh, manage uh, your system, how it behaves and runs and that sort of thing. So all in all, this is a nice looking operating system. This is the Jupiter flavor. There is a new one coming out in the spring. I can't wait to see what that one looks like. But um, definitely a competent flavor of Ubuntu for those of you who do not like GNOME 3. If you thought this was useful, please hit like and subscribe. Catch me on Facebook and Twitter. If you're in South Florida, visit computersites.com and uh, they'll take care of all of your computing needs for you. Uh, I've got more stuff headed your way today. I am on a roll, so stick around. More videos are coming up.